Hi there, and welcome to the QMH Ultimate instructional video on the Vanish tool. The Vanish tool, found in 2016.146 and higher, is a replacement for the older Blemish tool, found in earlier versions of QImage. The Vanish tool is much more accurate and more powerful than the Blemish tool that precedes it. What we have here is some photos from Solomon's Castle. It's a local attraction here. We have a horse here, a plaster horse, and I'm going to open that photo up because that photo contains some areas that I'd like to correct, and we'll show you how to do that with the Vanish tool. Over here on the right, you can see that there's a checkbox for Vanish, but the way Vanish is typically used is that you zoom in on a portion of the image and you operate the Vanish tool from within the preview. So what I'm going to do now is I can see that there's a little area of deterioration here on the statue, and I'm going to bring that up. I'll put my mouse cursor in the center of it and right click, and that right click will bring up this zoomed in preview over here. From this preview, I can use the Vanish tool, and as you can see down here, a swipe, that is a click and a drag, will vanish what's underneath it. There's also red eye. I won't go into that, but if you if you check red eye instead, then you can click in the center of the pupil, drag outward until you get to the edge of the pupil, and that will remove red eye. But this video is on the Vanish tool, so we're going to keep it uh, simple for this video. With the Vanish tool checked here, when I swipe, I'm going to click in the center of this area right here that I want to remove and drag outward. And what it does is it creates a circle around that blemish and it mends it with the information around it. And again, I'll click in the center of these little two little spots here, drag outward, and you can drag as far as you want, but as you drag, you can see what it's doing, and based on the background that's there, you can drag a different distance to get different effects. So that's what I'm doing here by just removing these. And there's no limit. You can actually put vanishes on top of other vanishes. If you think one vanish left a little bit of a streak or something that you didn't want, just use another one and get, get rid of it. You can do one on top of another. And by doing that, you can basically mend your image to remove these places that you want to correct. Now we've done a good enough job with that, so I'm going to close that. And you can see over here that uh, this area looks better now. I have another area here that I'll call your attention to. It has some yellow leaves in here that could be distracting to some viewers. So I'm going to right click in that area and get a zoom of that area. Over here we see that zoom. So I'm going to click on one of these leaves in the center of the leaf again. Click, hold, and drag out. And as I drag out, you can see the leaf vanish. When I get to a wide enough circle and the leaf is gone, I stop and I release the mouse button. And that will get rid of that area and blend the area from around it. Now over here on the right, you can see a list. This is basically just a listing of the vanishes that you've done. But I'll call your attention to a, a really neat feature you can see that the last vanish that I did, it gives you the pixel location, which obviously you don't need to know that. It's, it's just for the program's reference because all of these are filters that can be modified or removed. You're not uh, damaging the original image. Um, but you can see that the radius was 12 on that last leaf that I removed. Now, if I have other leaves in the photo that are similar size that I want to remove, I don't have to click and drag each time. I can just position my mouse pointer right in the center and give it a single click like that. All I did was touch the left mouse button. And by doing that, I can remove, you see over here it added more, it's going to use a 12 radius until I click and drag again. And even when I have something that's a little oblong like this, that's a little wider than what I had selected for uh, before, two vanishes will probably do it. So I'm going to position it right about here, click, do it here again, click, and that's gone. So I can just move around here and click on these areas because they're all about the same size down here. 
click a couple times, get rid of that one, get rid of this one. And you can see how easy it is and how undetectable that is when you remove these things. And you're basically decluttering your image here. And if you watch my mouse cursor over here, you can see that those yellow leaves disappeared. If you find another one, if the zoom wasn't uh, quite big enough to show you this one, that's okay. Just right click on that. I see one remaining yellow leaf here and I'll just click in the center of it and drag out. And I can get rid of that little tiny one there. And we're done. So this area over here is all cleaned up now. It doesn't have any distracting yellow spots to drag your eye away from the subject. And I'll even do this little white flower down here. Right click on that. I get a zoom with that in the center. And I'll just click in the center of that, drag out, and the flower is gone. So that's how easy it is to remove unwanted areas from your photos. Obviously this works really well on faces that have uh, facial blemishes and things like that that you want to remove on portraits. Uh, very easy to do. Very difficult, if not impossible, to detect that the image was even modified. But we'll go even further than that. There's a little branch over here that I find a bit distracting. And I'll show you how to remove something that's not um, surrounded by image. It's something like a line. So I'll right click there. The way that you remove a line is you start at the end, if you can. If you can't, you can start in the middle. But here I'll start at the end and you drag outward to about double the width of the line that you're trying to remove. So I'm going to click here, drag outward, about double the width, and release. And you can see that it got rid of that little tip and with a radius of 17 vanish. So now that I've done that and I've established the width of this stem here, I can continue doing that. I'll click right in the middle of the end again and it gets rid of more. And you just keep working your way down that stem step at a time and you can even click off to the side. Sometimes you don't have to click right in the center. And that's a good way to get rid of Things like line segments, poles, branches that are sticking out into your photos. And again, when you do this, you can use any size vanish that you like and base it on what you have in the background and how good that size looks for what you're trying to cover. Now, if I click OK on this and I move my cursor over here, when the filter is applied, you can see that distracting limb disappear there, that little branch. But it's not, even, it's not limited to just that. You can get rid of larger areas. Let me get rid of this uh, bundle of leaves here on the end. And what I'll do here is I'll, I'll trim off a little bit of this right here. I'll click at the end again and drag out to about double the width, and then I'll work my way in, get rid of some of this area here. And now once I've got it trimmed off a little bit, I've got generally a round area here, an oval area. So I'm going to put it, put my mouse cursor right in the center of that and drag all the way out. And this is a really exaggerated fix here. Um, drag all the way out. And as you drag out, you can see that the inside of your vanish area changes depending on the radius that you're dragging. So you pick something that looks like it's going to look good with the background, release, and now that's gone. And now all we're left with is this branch here. So again, I'll click at the end and move outward, and then I have my radius established. Now I can just click, 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 click and just keep on going and get rid of that branch. So now if we watch the mouse cursor over here, we'll see this cluster of leaves disappear and the background behind it, you can't even tell anything was done there. It just filled in everything from the background and it looks like it just disappeared. Now obviously you can keep going, you can do more, you can take out these branches here and probably if I was doing this as a final image, I would take them all the way down to maybe right here. And uh, 
then we'd be ready to print. So hopefully this video shows you some good ways of using the vanishing tool and will allow you to use the vanish tool to get rid of blemishes, tree limbs, leaves that are in the way, anything like that in your photos to make them look a lot cleaner. Thanks for watching.